up? What's up, YouTube family? I'm back. I'm back with another one. Here's the update. So I got a new, I got a new daily for now. And um, yeah, quick little story. So I have. Well, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm on my way to go um, clean up. I'm about to go clean my car now. So I'm gonna show you guys pretty much my new daily, and then also give you guys like a little story and stuff like that so so apparently yesterday I put my window up so apparently yesterday on my way home from work my, my truck was driving fine you know it wasn't it wasn't nothing different about it when I was driving on my way to work and I'm driving back home but long story short I got home parked it so the next day which was the next morning on my way to work Got up, try to get in, a, try to get in my truck and start it up. You no, know, doing my typical, normal um, routine and stuff like that. Try to jump back in and start it up, and for some reason it's not. It just cranked, but it doesn't start. So you know, I'm thinking like, yeah, you know, it probably could be. I probably left a light or something like that on. Maybe I got to do a little jump start, this and that, a third. But you know, obviously, if your battery is dead or if you left anything on your car and that kills your battery, obviously, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to tell when you put your keys in there. You're not going to really be able to have that much power. It seemed like everything was still working, working 100 percent when I turn when I turn my keys. Then the next thing I look, you know, I'm thinking that it could be my alternator. But mind you, I had, you know, I had this truck for about two years so I had it for about two years and um you know I didn't have any major issue till like now like the only ma I like the only major issue I had was my brake line and then I had I, pr I pretty much had to do like a tune up I got new spark plugs all of that and I wouldn't really think that that could have been an issue you know from like the spark plugs and stuff like that it's still they still all like the actual you know same spark plug like the same brand i put back in the truck so but yeah long story short so i got um i try to start it up it's cranking but like i checked the alternator i checked the uh, um it's not my battery my battery is still pretty much brand new and i checked the fuse which, well, which was like my last my last option and stuff like that check my fuse to find out to check and see if if I have anything blown out. And then the last thing I was thinking about that could probably possibly be wrong because about two, three weeks ago when I had, I had went to the car wash to um, to wash my truck and I did like a, for the first time ever since I had that car, that was like my first time ever doing like a, like a full engine day clean. It wasn't really like a full engine day cleaning, but it was just like, I used like soap and water and obviously, yeah, I did cover up all the important stuff that you know water can't touch i did that so you know like it's not like when i was washing it's not like when i was you know cleaning my engine bay i just took like the high pressure wash and just kept spraying like you know some people does that because they you know they feel like it's safe but for me i didn't do it. i cover up most of that stuff and i use like the low pressure and i actually clean up around it because i was too you know i was too afraid of doing you know getting some water on the alternator or anything important in an engine bay so but yeah so you know i i trace my step come to find out the only thing the only thing that could be given that issue like the car cranks it's like it sound like it want to start but it doesn't turn over so like the only thing that possibly could be given that issue that i thought about which I had before in the past. I had in the past when I was like, I think when I was like 19, 19, 20, I had like that same, I had the same truck, but it was a, I think it was a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500. And like the same issue happened, the exact same issue happened to me. Like I just came home from work, parked, parked my car, tried to start it up the next day. And it wasn't doing, it wasn't doing, it was crank, it was cranking, but it wasn't trying to turn over. Come to find out what the issue was. Come to find out what the issue was that the main issue was, um, I'm at the car wash. The only thing that came to mind was the fuel pump. 
And I kept thinking about that. I'm like, oh man, please don't tell me it's that. Please don't tell me it's that. So, come to find out, it is my fuel pump that went bad. Because everything else doesn't, you know, everything else, like, it's not. You know, everything else still worked proper. And then, like, the fuel, when I tried to start it up, like, yesterday, I hit the um, gas tank a little bit. I tap it. My second attempt. Gotta start it up. I tap it a little bit when you, you know, tap your, your fuel pump, your gas tank, like the fuel pump, like the car will actually start, but it will, like it started, but then it start for like five seconds and then shut back off. So that definitely showed that it is definitely my fuel pump. So, but yeah, you guys, you know, if you know about cars and stuff like that, let me know. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like I'm a hundred percent sure that it's definitely, like it's definitely my fuel pump because, but it just doesn't make sense to me because like I had, I had this car, this car been very, very dependable to me, like reliable, reliable to me. Like I had no issue with it at all. The funny part about it, I just took my car to, um, I believe they, um, Meineke to get a service. They had, they like pretty much like a whole full tune, tune up with everything else on a car. And now two weeks, not even like not even three weeks, two weeks in the car was driving fine. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't driving like anything was off or anything like that. It was driving a hundred percent fine, startup fine, this and that. But I think that made me think like, it's funny how when I got that, when I got that, whatever tune up it was, whatever tune up, you know, tune up I did on my truck. When I got it, that's when all of a sudden now my fuel pump went bad. And it's crazy because when I did my tune up, it wasn't just any regular tune up. And I'm pretty sure if you got like a truck or something like that, you definitely can understand. Like when you try to, especially take your car to like these, high end garage and stuff like that, they normally would charge you a lot of money just to do labor. Like the labor just for my car itself was at least like, I'm not even lying, at least like 800, 800, at least like 800. Plus like the parts and all the like other stuff and stuff like that add up and tax. Like when I seen it, everything came up. When I seen it, everything came up to about 1900 which I had to pay out of pocket and I got it done. The car was driving good. I'm not trying to pin anything on anybody. I'm just saying like, it's kind of funny how this issue just came up out of nowhere within two weeks time. Like my fuel pump just went bad. But long story short, you know, I'm not, you know, I ain't gonna, I'm not mad about it. That's not, you know, shit happened. You know, that's the, that's the, that's life. You know, you just gotta, just gotta take it up the chin and, you know, I'm just happy. It's not anything, it's not anything too bad. Like, I mean, obviously a fuel pump is, you know, you can still get it fixed, fixable though, but I'm just happy it's not anything bad. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys like my new daily for now. Definitely give you guys a walk around. Side. 
It is a little bit dirty because I've been working, so I got stuff everywhere. Yes, sir, crop game. 